What is up YouTube? It is the number one line of this internet jungle, Rich Matic, finally back with another video. And man, I I definitely had to give my two cents on this new Resident Evil 4 remake teaser trailer. I was not expecting this at all. And honestly, I was not expecting how much I was going to enjoy this trailer. Uh, preface this, let me say, when I first played Resident Evil 4, I did enjoy the game a lot, but as time went on, I was always just thinking in the back of my mind, like, what if this game had taken a more serious horror approach to Resident Evil 4? similar to the original trilogy and actually put like real survival horror elements like those games into Resident Evil 4. I've always wanted that because I felt like the game was always way too action heavy and too many one-liners and all these crazy set pieces like Leon running away from boulders and running away from giant statues of enemies that sort of animate and chase him across a bridge. I'm like, what is this game? Like, it's fun, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, what? this game is just going nuts. And I'm like, it works for the tone of that game, but I always wanted a more serious Resident Evil 4. And when I watched this remake and they had this complete 180 tone shift, I was like, yo, is this what I'm, is this what I wanted? This is what I kind of wanted when I first bought this game and it's finally coming. I'm like, hell yeah, this is awesome. And just when Leon says things will be different this time, man, what a double entendre to just hit the nail on the head that this game is going to be different. And Leon is much more serious, a lot more grounded. And you can tell that he's seeking redemption for what happened in Raccoon City during the events of uh, Resident Evil 2. And maybe he has some sort of survivor's guilt or uh, PTSD, definitely PTSD from the events that transpired. But I mean, him and Claire survived by the, like the skin of their teeth and they used every single resource and all their cunning and wits to, you know, survive the T virus, uh, Birkin and the G virus, zombies, uh, liquors, Mr. X, you know, they survived against great odds and Leon should be happy that he made it out of that situation but we can see that he's definitely you know harbors some guilt and he definitely took this mission on from the president to get some kind of redemption or you know feel better about his choices and that also adds on to them expanding upon the game you know showing that scene with leon meeting the president and getting his mission that expands upon the original story which is great it's not that they're just changing certain things and changing how the game plays they're also expanding upon the story which is great i really love the blue tint and like when they show all the settings like the castle and showing uh, lord Sad sadler and uh chief mendez or menendez how do you pronounce it it's been a long time since i've <laughs> played the game but they all look a lot more menacing and they take a lot more serious tone. It's a lot darker. Like when you see the castle, it's a narrow corridor with three uh, the cultists walking towards you. It looks really good. And it looks like it's one of those games where you play by yourself and you're just trying to survive by the skin of your teeth like Resident Evil has always been. I've always loved that aspect of, you know, do I have enough supplies to make it to the next room, to the next puzzle? Do I need to give up a defense weapon? Do I need to just mow as many enemies down and then book it to the next room? Or which enemies should I dispatch and which ones should I just run past? I've always loved that aspect of the original trilogy of Resident Evil games. And that's why I'm so excited for this remake, because it looks like that's what we're getting. I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping for the best. You know, I'll prepare for the worst. I would say the redesigns also look really good. I like Leon's new jacket. Uh, it's definitely reminiscent of 3.5. If you didn't already know, look that up. It's a very cool looking jacket with the uh, old Hookman trailer. Looks pretty dope. Uh, Ashley looks great. It looks like she won't be nearly as annoying. Uh, I love Ada's uh, turtleneck sweater. She actually looks like a real spy now instead of, you know, running around in that dress with a grappling hook, just like 
going from building to building like she's fucking Batman doing Catwoman flips. I'm like, this is kind of ridiculous, but she looks really cool now. I, I love her that she actually looks like a real spy, you know. I'm, I'm sure they'll keep the dress in there, you know, their original costumes and give you the option. They kind of did that in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake and Resident Evil 3 Remake. You know, they'll always give you the option to play with whatever costume you like. We'll see how this ends. Uh, we'll probably get some more information coming soon. I know there's a Capcom showcase coming up soon, but are you going to miss the original campiness of the original game? Or are you liking this more serious tone that's going to probably play into a little bit more horror and survival horror aspects from the original trilogy? Let me know in the comments. And uh, have a great day and, you know, peace and love. Catch you on the next one.